New Hampshire is hoping to attract Hollywood with a new film tax credit. Many states across the nation, including Massachusetts and Rhode Island here in New England, already have aggressive tax credits and have been seeing a strong Hollywood film presence in their communities. Will the Granite State finally be a contender in all of this? I'm Nathan O'Leary for Comcast Newsmakers at the New Hampshire Institute of Politics at St. Anselm College. And joining me today is Matthew Newton, director of the New Hampshire Film and Television Office. And Matthew, welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Have to start out with why has it taken so long for New Hampshire to get into this? Uh, well, it's, it, it certainly has been a, a long time coming. Um, I've, I've been at this for, boy, five to seven years now, and during that time, it, it was just all starting out, and then it's ballooned, and every state has it. I think we're one of four or five states now that does not have a tax incentive program. So we've Out been a little, 50. yeah, we've been a little bit wow. uh, behind the game in this, and it's and it's put us at a little bit of a disadvantage over the years, but. The, and we've received a fair amount of criticism at the film office, you know, why haven't we pushed something through? Right. But I think it's important to note that, you know, in my opinion anyway, state agencies are there to administer policy rather than create policy. Mm -hmm. It needs to come from the outside, and we've always stressed that, look, the industry needs to get together, get behind this, right. get some lawmakers involved, and push something forth. And now, over the last year, you know, we've got the New Hampshire Production Coalition that's that's come together, and they've been pulling together the memberships, and they've been working to draft some legislation, and they're they're hoping to get something done this session. How do you think a tax credit would bring those bigger productions? I think um, I think it could be a game changer for the state. Um, with Massachusetts and Rhode Island being so competitive, they've been bringing a lot of the Hollywood films in. Mm -hmm. They've already have established relationships there. Yeah. We need to work on that. Um, but while they've been doing that, we've been sort of carving ourselves a nice niche with the independent scene. So we've been working with lower budget independent films, right. uh, which I think makes it a well-rounded industry in New Hampshire and New England in general. Yeah. And um, you know, these big projects that are coming in, we have New Hampshire folks working on them anyway. So as yeah. long as they're working, I'm happy, but boy, wouldn't it be great to get them working in our own backyard. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. So now New Hampshire's approach, um, what has it been so far to anticipate the tax credit? Well, we've been sort of leaving it in the hands of the coalition at this point. Okay. I'm, I'm there to provide any data, any information, um, and between the work that I'm doing with the coalition, maybe we can round out the story and, and, and talk about what's been happening here in the right. state already. So what types of films, uh, when we're talking about, you know, there's so many things from commercials to big productions, so what yeah. kind of film productions do you see as a good fit for New Hampshire, the best fit? I've always thought the best fit are, are the smaller budget independent films. Yeah. Now, we've lost a couple independent films with larger budgets, like Labor Day, for example. It's okay. a, it was a New Hampshire story written by a New Hampshire author, not filmed in New Hampshire. Oh. Things like that, Adam Sandler films, you know, the, the films that really should be a fit for New Hampshire. I'm, yeah. I'm hoping that maybe we can turn that around with this. Now, what impact would you say um, so you get a commercial where you get a big production. What impact does this have on communities, on people and their jobs? It's, it's a big Im impact. We've seen in a number of states the economic impact that this has. You know, we had a production that came in uh, a few years ago that filmed in Plymouth, New Hampshire. Mm -hmm. And in the four weeks that they were there, they dropped $800,000. And it's, it's the kind of industry that comes in, they, they drop their cash, and then they go, yeah. and they don't really have an impact on the infrastructure here in the state. Right. So it's, we, we want to see more of that and uh, create more jobs and... and uh, $800,000 uh, Yeah, everybody wins. Ancillary wow. businesses to the crew people, everybody yeah. wins with it. Well, congratulations on the effort ramping up. Good luck to that, thank Matthew you. Newton. Thank you for joining Comcast Newsmakers and thank you for joining Comcast Newsmakers. Until next time, I'm Nathan O'Leary.